What is going on traders? We are back in another one. Wanted to do a quick video on how to set up stop losses in Weeble since the new update. Let's jump in. So the first kind of order we're going to look at is a stop limit order. And a stop limit basically has two parameters. There's the stop price and the limit price. So you want to make sure your stop price is a little bit higher than I set it here. You want to ensure that that is caught so the limit order has a chance to go through and actually get executed. Because essentially what's going to happen is once that line is crossed at 480, it is going to put in a limit order for 475. And so if you put it a little bit too close, let's say you put it at 476 and you put your limit at 475, it might not fill in time. So you run the risk of you know, your order not going through. You'll see me flicking back and forth from entry day to the daily chart. That's just to get the order to pop up if I'm not seeing it. The next kind of stop we're going to talk about is a market stop. And a market stop loss order essentially puts in a market order when it hits a set price. So it's not necessarily going to fill at 350. It's going to fill somewhere around there. It might be a little bit higher, might be a little bit lower, but it will fill. I don't like using these other than crypto. I really prefer to just use a limit order and put my stop price high enough so that it gives my limit a chance to actually get filled. This is another really cool thing you can do with Weeble. You can just click on your limit order or whatever your order is, drag it, hit OK, and it'll adjust it so it's kind of nice for moving your stops on the fly. And keep in mind there's multiple ways to get to the stop loss tab. You can hit your positions tab right there and then go to close or take profit stop loss or you could just hit trade. So the next kind of stop loss order is a trail stop and I did a dollar stop in this one but you can click that little sign there to the right and set a percentage if you'd like. So not sure why that's not popping up. Might be a bug, but not a big deal to me. I'm not a big fan of uh, percent trails anyways. I, I set my hard stops. So the next kind of order we're going to look at is the take profit in a stop loss group order. Now in order to execute this from that menu, from the trade menu, you have to be starting a position. I don't know why you can't make it work, but every time I try to do it from that menu, I get an error. So you have to be starting a position when you set this order unless you do it the other way that I'm about to show you after this. And so you'll notice when this group order goes through, you can kind of make this buy sell wall. It'll kind of show you where your floor is and show you where your ceiling is and kind of adjust that to your liking after you put it in. If you see, yeah, maybe you want to make it a little higher, a little lower, you could tweak it like I showed you earlier. All right, and so here's the workaround I was telling you about. If you're trying to do this group order and you already have a position open, you can't go to the trade menu. You have to go to your positions menu in the middle once that's open, you click on your position, and then you hit close. Once you hit close, hit take profit stop loss, and you can enter the values here. And you'll see if you do it in this menu, it'll actually allow you to place these orders if you have a position open. Anyways, traders, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this useful. If you did, hit the thing, do the stuff, follow me on the stuff and things. If you don't, join the Discord, and I will see you in the next one.